Hey everybody, this is John from Elite. I wanted to go over today how we kind of set up our warm-ups and the progression that we do that, just so if you want to create a warm-up for yourself, um, you kind of have something to kind of go off of. Now I'm going to go, we have five slash six steps depending on which, one, which say, workout that you're going to be doing, um, but we do the first five no matter what we're doing. Um, and I'm just going to give you like one exercise per, you know, step. You know, to give you an idea, because you usually do multiple movements per step all the way down. The warm-ups usually take people um, anywhere between five to ten minutes, uh, maybe even longer, depending on how big of a group it is. But um, pretty much, we start with um, release or SMR. So SMR is self myofascial release, and we would say, hey, we want to release, say, tight muscles or areas that we're going to be focusing on in that workout, or just say common areas that are tight for people. So. Usually you can grab a lacrosse ball. There's a million ways you can do this, but if you might grab a lacrosse ball, you can grab, we have these little sticks that runners use all the time, um, or even a foam roller. Uh, we like to use the lacrosse ball and the foam roller a lot, but say I want to um, roll out my hips and my glutes, and what I would do is I would sit down, I would put one leg straight, and I'm going to push this roller, I'm going to roll it back and up along my glute slash hip, okay? And I'm going to find the areas that are kind of gunked up Okay, the areas that don't feel that good, I'm going to kind of hang out on them. Just how, like, say, a massage therapist would, if you have tight muscles, they're going to sit there and give pressure because that muscle is on, okay, or needs to be, you know, blood increased to that area, break up scar tissue, just create better tissue quality. So we would do this, you know, say 10, you know, 20 times per side, or this side hurts way more <laughs> than the other side, okay. And then our next step, so after we um, release or do SMR, we would go to open an anchor. Now open an anchor is you're anchoring a joint or you're opening up a joint the exact way that it needs to be opened up. So give you an idea, we do line wall slides all the time. So if we're trying to open up, say our chest and say our shoulder, we would put our top hand up top and we would move and we would open up, okay, so that we can get into better shapes and positions, okay? And then we also like to do, another one that we like to do is line wall slide. So we would squeeze our stomach, push our low back into the ground, pinch our shoulder blades, and we're trying to keep our forearms on the ground the entire time. A lot of people have a lot of trouble getting their arms, they try to like lift up. But we want to squeeze our stomach, and we move our joint, okay, in the movement that it wants or it should be moving in, okay. So after we do that, we want to do a low level of core activation. And we like to do a lot of anti-rotation. And we can, all, we can do this in a bunch of different ways, but we like to get our most bang for our buck. And we like to do single leg um, hip raises. Now the single leg hip raise, yes, we're driving through, we're getting some, some hamstring activation, we're getting some hip activation, but also mainly what a lot of what we're doing this for is when we lift up, your core wants to dip, okay? Since you don't have both legs. So we're squeezing our stomach, okay? Driving through our heels, hips up, and you're getting pretty much your whole posterior chain, and then we're getting that low level of anti-rotation in there so we can take care of okay, getting our core activated so that if we're lifting any weights, okay, you're, you're gonna be much more safer, okay, and actually be able to brace your core correctly and breathe correctly if, that, if it's activated. Um, after that, we go into movement or flow. Now, flow is kind of, think of like five exercises in one you kind of go through a, a flow is the best way to put it. So, for example, we like to do a lot of stuff starting with inchworm. So we can try to keep our legs straight. So we bend over, we get a lot of big stretch in our hamstrings. Okay, from here, we're gonna walk out, get some shoulder activation while we're walking out. We would go into a push-up, come back up, and then we like to go to tiger stretch, bring your foot up and a hand closest to our knee. We'd lift up, okay, we'd switch to do the other side, lift up. Okay, getting some T-spinal mobility and then back up, that would be one. We'd say like do like four or five of those. So it's a ton of movements together. We're getting our body, starting to get it to raise the body temperature up. Okay, moving through positions that we should be, be able to get into um, in our workouts. Now, after that, we would go into say explosive movements. Now, with athletes, this can be running, jumping, stuff like that, but we really like um, med ball slams. We do them all the time because they're so easy. They're easy to learn, but also you can, it's a total body explosive movement and it really fires up your CMS. So we would come up, go up overhead as it comes down, make it go faster into the ground, back up, 
okay? So it's very fast, intense movement so that you're, I mean, by the end of that, once you do your C, once we do our CNS work, you're charged up, you're ready to roll. Pretty much right after that, we're like, all right, let's do it. Um, we do have one more step. So that was the first five. We have a, uh, like pretty much a regression, the next step. Say if you were doing a strength uh, workout, we would want to do a regression of your main movement. So say, for example, we're doing push, or say we're doing bench press. We would want to do a regression of a bench press, so something that's very similar, so we would want to do a pushing movement. So we would either do, say, push-ups, instead of, say, you know, um, a bench press. Right before a bench press, we would come down, we would come down and up for a certain amount of reps, getting ourselves prepared to when we press, it's not like the first time that we've done it that day. So try to do, um, your warm-ups in that order or just like that and some of these movements uh, we do a ton of them we always are changing them up to keep them you know because warm-ups look are not that fun so <laughs> we want our people doing them so we have to kind of change them up and make them exciting as exciting as we can but try those out and let us know if they help you